Hello everybody! It's time for another story. This story is called Get Lost Little Brother. That's not very nice is it? I think it's about lots of brothers and the little one was a bit annoying and the older ones didn't like him. Do you think they'll make friends? Shall we find out? Joseph's father, that's his daddy, gave him a new coat. That's Joseph. He looks really happy, doesn't he? Because he's got a new coat and it was beautiful. But none of his brothers had a new coat. They felt left out. They all look a bit cross because he's got a new coat and they don't. Hmm. How do you feel when somebody else gets something new? Joseph was happy, but his brothers were mad. They went outside by themselves and they left Joseph behind. They didn't want to play with Joseph, did they? Because they were a bit jealous of Joseph's coat. Go find your brothers, Joseph's father said one day. So Joseph went to look for them. Flip, flop, flippity flap. His sandals slapped against the ground. He's going to go and see if he can find his brothers. Do you think they'll be happy to see him? I think they might still be a little bit cross that he's got a coat and they don't. Joseph looked and looked and finally he found his brothers. But they were still angry. They didn't want to see their little brother again. Can you see all their angry faces? They look very cross, don't they, to see him? Hmm. I hope they're not going to be nasty to him. <gasps> they were nasty to him. They took away his beautiful coat and they threw him into a deep, dark hole. That was a horrible thing to do. Down, down, Joseph tumbled. Thump, thump, bumpity bump. Help! Help! he cried. But they wouldn't listen. That's them throwing him into the hole. And then at the top they've got his coat. Because they were so angry that he got a coat and they didn't. They were being really nasty, weren't they? That's not a very nice thing to do, is it? We should be happy for people when things go well for them. Let's send him away, his brother said. Then he'll be gone for good. That's really not nice. Crunch, crunch, crunchy, crunch. The camels took Joseph away to Egypt. He looks a bit scared, doesn't he? Because they sent him away somewhere. We don't do that anymore, do we? Send people away. Joseph was lonely and he wanted to go home. But God had a special job for him. Joseph grew bigger and older and stronger and wiser. Wiser is when you make good decisions. That's him sitting there. One day, God gave Joseph a message for the king of all Egypt. For seven years, there's going to be lots of food. Then for seven years, we're not going to have very much food, said Joseph. Can you see him thinking about the food? There's some with lots of food and lots of fat mice and some with very thin mice. What should we do? asked the king. Without food, we'll all die. Joseph answered, we can save all the food we can. Then there'll be plenty when we need it. Because we've got seven years of lots of food, so let's just keep some and, and keep it safe and then we can eat it when there isn't much food. The king said, what a brilliant idea. He was happy. He made Joseph his special helper. The king gave him a new robe. Joseph was very important now. Everybody in Egypt had to listen to him and he showed them how to keep their food. Joseph told the people to build big barns, like big garages, but full of food. After seven years, everyone ran out of food, but Joseph had kept lots of food in the barns, so he had plenty. That's really good, isn't it? They kept all the food there. Hungry people with rumbling tummies came to Egypt. Rumble, grumble, gurgle, gurgle. They wanted something to eat. Even Joseph's brothers came, because they were hungry too. They hadn't been very nice to Joseph, had they, his brothers? And now they need some food from him. Do you think he'll be nice to them, or will he be nasty to them? Let's find out. His brothers didn't know who Joseph was. He looked different now. 
but Joseph knew who they were. I am Joseph, he cried, and they were really scared. They thought that he might be nasty to them because they'd be nasty to him. But Joseph hugged and kissed them all. Now I know why God brought me to Egypt, he said. God brought me here to save my family. And that made Joseph happier than he had ever been before. So even though his brothers and sisters had been a bit, his brothers had been a bit nasty to him, Joseph wasn't nasty back. He was nice to them and he helped them. That's what a good brother does, isn't it? Or a good sister is still nice and still looks after them. And then they were all happy. Oh, well done, Joseph. That was a good story, wasn't it? I'll see you again another day for another story. Bye.